everyone, this is Halloween Haunter here, and welcome back to another Halloween video. And in this Halloween video, we're going to be unboxing the Spirit Halloween 2023 Death Stalker animatronic. This one has been one I've been really excited to go ahead and finally unbox. So let's go ahead and start this unboxing. Here is the front of the box. It is the top. Here is the sides. Diagram, back, and here is the other side. So let's go ahead now and finally unbox them. Mine has some uh, damage right here, so I hope that's not going to affect the prop. We'll find out. So let's go ahead and see. Alrighty, here we go. Here is the inside of the box. We open it. You get his clothing right here. You get his shoulder bracket right here. You get one of his hands. Here is one of his arms. Here's another arm. Here is the fog pose. I almost forgot he's a fog machine compatible prop. Here's the adapter. Here is the hunchback piece. Here is the other hand. Of course, here's the instructions. Here is his head. That is one big head. I've also got the fog pose attached to it already. We got a hip loop in here. Cutting this off the base, we have some holes right here. We have the mechanism right here with the module. And we have the base. Yeah, let's go ahead now and start the setup on the Spear Halloween Death Soccer Animatronic. To first start the setup of the Spirit Halloween 2023 Death Soccer Animatronic, you are first going to take the base, of course, and lay it flat. Then you're going to go ahead now and take the B poles and snap lock them into place. Then you are going to go ahead now and attach the supports on the sides to the B poles. Then you're going to go ahead now and attach the C poles onto the B poles. Then you're going to go ahead now and attach the module to the C poles. Then you're going to go ahead now and attach the adapter into the adapter jack in the back. Then you're going to go ahead now and attach the hip loop of the module. Then you are going to go ahead now and attach the shorter bracket to the top of the module. Then you are going to go ahead now and attach the hunchback over the shoulder bracket. Then you are going to go ahead now and drip the clothing over the body. Then you are going to go ahead now and attach this head. You've got two prongs right here. Oh, connected to two prongs on the mechanism. Just make sure that he's connected to both of those prongs on the module. Then you're going to go ahead now and attach the Velcros from the top of Death Stalker's head to the Velcro on the hood and adjust that to your liking. Make sure that you now hide the fog post inside of your clothing and your body and not have it exposed. Then you are going to go ahead now and attach both of his arms through the arm sleeves. So I'll do this one on the right side first. And attach the arm and the arm prong. We will do the same now for the other side of the arm. And now we're going to go ahead and connect his hands. Make sure that the leather O goes to the letter I for the hands and lock it down into place. Then now you're going to attach the other arm with N to H and attach it to the arm prong. If this guy's weight does seem a bit too uneven for you, you can go ahead now and attach the sandbag, fill it up with anything heavy or with sand. I'm just going to do a brick for this video, however you could just do like really sand or a weight on it. If you are planning to have Death Stalker on the fog option, make sure that you take the wire from the module that's kind of just loose and bring it down to the bottom of him. You'll see this. Then you go ahead and take the fog plug it comes with and plug in the plug from Death Stalker. Then you're going to take that plug in and take a fog machine, which you're going to have to buy separately, and go ahead and plug it into the back of the fog machine. Then you are going to go ahead now and pull the fog hose from the top of Deathstalker to the bottom of him and then go ahead and connect the small end to the end of Deathstalker. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead now and take that big fog hose piece. You might have to take this piece out if it's too big, 
but like so it will connect in the fog machine you have to plug in your fog machine and that is really how you do the fog portion for death stalker once you are done with that and did some clothing adjustments go ahead and plug him in make sure he's on the on or step pad option and that's how you set up the spirit halloween 2023 death stalker animatronic let's go ahead and now roll a demo <laughs> So there you saw was my demo of this for Halloween 2023 Deathstalker animatronic. And this guy, honestly, is just so awesome. This guy is a reskin of the Krampus animatronic from Spirit Halloween. And though it is a reskin, I don't think it's that distracting because I still think, despite the fact it does the same thing and it's kind of in the same pose, it's basically still his own unique character that doesn't really feel distracting at all. This guy's just amazing. First of all, he's got some pretty generic black clothing and a creepy cloth. And I actually don't think it's that bad. I think it fits the character fine. I don't think it's that distracting. It's something like too unique. I think that's okay. I love his hands. His hands are really cool. They're only four fingers. And they got some nice detail. Nothing too crazy with it, but it looks nice overall. It just has a really cool mold and it's really big. And of course, the best part about this guy is his face. This face is amazing. This is definitely the best part of this prop, of course. This face looks like like 20 different alien sci-fi horror movies or just like sci-fi horror movies in general this guy looks pulled straight from that and it just looks awesome i love the big teeth the really slimy tongue looks really good again his teeth are so cool looking i love how sharp they are and then the side shading on his head looks really good he's got no eyes he's got a couple scars on him he's got some cool lips and yeah, he just looks amazing. This guy is so awesome. I love his face. And of course, he's got the side to side turning, which is fine. Nothing too crazy there, but it works fine with this character. And I think the audio is really good too. Nothing too bad with that either. This guy seems sturdy for the most part. However, I do wish there's probably supports in the front right here, but it's not that big of a deal that this guy is still is pretty sturdy. You're just going to want some weight on him for sure because he can easily fall over. Now, for my complaints, I don't really have a lot of complaints here, but I do wish for one certain reason that I do wish that he was not latex because this prop is a latex prop. However, if you have fog in there coming out of him, he's going to unfortunately start dry rotting and get too much moisturizer in his material i wish this guy was a hard plastic or a vinyl because this wouldn't have a problem with that but latex over time if there's too much liquid or substance in there it's going to build over time and then start deteriorating which is going to suck so i really hope mine stays good for a long time the head is so really awesome it's a latex mask with a plastic shaped head underneath it of course he's got the awesome fog machine compatibility which is awesome for this character it works really well that being said i will pretty much conclude my unboxing setup and demo for halloween 2023 death stalker animatronic overall this guy's gonna be a 280 dollar prop which is kind of a lot but i don't think it's that bad of a price compared to other spirit prices i wish he was in stores though because he does have the oversized shipping which is going to add him that price tag if you have a good coupon though you can get away with that but still he might be my favorite from this certain drop However, I'm not really sure yet because I haven't unboxed Blackheart yet. And I do like some of the other ones I just unboxed. So that being said, that pretty much wrap up my video on the Spirit Halloween 2023 Death Stalker animatronic. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And to hit the notification bell for future Spirit Halloween unboxings. And I will see you guys in the next Halloween video.